This is a wonderful piece of footage captured from uh, Matthew Castanier in this deep backhand corner. And there's so many good technical points going on here that I just want to take a few moments to describe what I'm seeing. So as he's seeing that ball go into the back, first thing to notice is look at his grip. Look at how he just adjusts his, his grip slightly, chokes up a little bit more and slightly gets his fingers on that grip a little bit more firm, a little bit stronger. So this is a decent shot from his opponent. The ball's dipping into the glass. You know, there's not a huge amount of height there. Um, Matthew gets into this lovely two-footed base. I talk a lot about getting this tiny little hop into this two-footed base. He's not massively turned, but he's turned enough. Let me just go back a little bit as well. What I want to make the point of is also where the racket goes, how quickly it goes across his body. So if you notice he's watching the ball, look at where his forearm is. It's across his body. Such a big common amateur fault is the racket stays to the right-hand side or the open side of the body. And actually, if you can get the arm across your body early while going to the back, it makes a huge difference. Okay, so back to this two-footed little hop, this little base. Look at that beautiful little hop and base there, really getting himself strong so he can sink as low as possible. He's really able to get low. And now look at his racket. Look at how he turns those knuckles up to the ceiling, really over-exaggerates, gets that bottom edge facing the ceiling. And that's a huge thing. A lot of amateurs don't ever get close to opening that bottom edge there. So if I could encourage you all to think about how that bottom edge opens, how you're able to get under and around that ball, <clears throat> and look, then he keeps his knuckles open. He, look at how horizontal his racket gets into that position. Absolutely phenomenal technique and phenomenal filming here to be able to see this. Really horizontal, really open, arm straightening out at that point. And look at how he then is able to just keep his racket face open, not fully open now, not fully horizontal. That's about 45 degrees. He just rolls his forearm slightly, but he's meeting that ball with that racket face open. And you notice how that ball is coming up off his strings now. He's able to get it out, you know, not with relative ease, but he's digging with such effectiveness. That short grip, that shape of the swing, turning those knuckles up, turning that bottom edge to the ceiling, allowing that racket to go horizontal keeping it open and then a very limited follow through. Actually, there's, there's a bit of a follow through there. Sometimes if he was digging more, that follow through might be a little bit less. When you can, and like what Matthew does here, he's able to just have enough space to follow through and this pulls him back to the tee. Look at how those knuckles are still open. Look at how that racket face is still facing the ceiling. If you're going to look to dig effectively from the back corner, you can't get a better video than this, demonstrating how well he takes that ball. And there's one final point I just want to make is watch it how he observes the ball so well, hits the glass, and then look at how late he takes it. Look at how low that ball is. Don't be scared to let that ball come off the glass. Look at all the space behind him now. Look at how his racket doesn't quite touch the glass, and he's got a pretty much a full swing from that position. So I think the spacing is super essential, and the spacing only happens if you're able to let that ball drop really low off the glass and then moving out. And then you'll notice his right foot's already off the ground, transferring him back to the tee. Beautiful execution of that deep backhand corner, how to get the ball out effectively. And one more time for good measure.